The Kentucky Wildcats have become one of the most exciting teams in college basketball. One reason for that is Reed Shepard, who has become arguably the most valuable freshman in the country. For Reed, the attention is brighter than normal because he's also the son of two Kentucky basketball legends. And one of them gave Reed so much of his style. Our Matt Norlander has the story. When Reed steps onto the floor, there's an electricity that goes through Rupp Arena that's just different. And it's different for us because we know what a Kentucky kid born and raised in Kentucky, playing for the University of Kentucky, means to the Kentucky fans. It's electric. In less than a year, Kentucky's Reed Shepard has transformed from local high school hero to national breakout star and become arguably the best freshman in men's college basketball. I've grown up in Kentucky my whole life. I've been to Kentucky games. I've always watched them on TV, and it's been a dream of mine to play at Kentucky. I didn't come to Kentucky because of my parents. Growing up, I didn't even know they played basketball here. We never put up any UK paraphernalia, any pictures, anything, because we wanted them to grow up making their own path, making their own decisions. And as they got older, then they started understanding Kentucky basketball. It wasn't until I committed here that I actually thought about it. I was like, dang, like I have a chance to do something really cool. And when I got the offer, it was so special. I couldn't pass up the opportunity. Shepard, deep three, left side, got it! A cold-blooded three up the right hand of Reed Shepard. How much did your dad pay you not to wear number four? <laughs> No, no, that was my two options. I had four and then I had number 15. I stuck with 15 just to follow dad and all that he did here. From Peachtree City, Georgia, known as Shep, number 15, Jeff Shepard. It's neat to see him wearing number 15. It's more important that he's wearing the Kentucky jersey and that Shepard's on a jersey. Reed chose to wear dad's number 15 but he inherited most of his game and his first name from mom. She was a four-year player here, one of the leading scorers, assist steals, competitive fight without it being emotional. He's more like his mom, has great feel, reacts to things, throws passes before you would even see it was there. And you just say, wow, that feel for the game. What I remember with Stacy is she was incredibly aggressive on defense. She rebounded the ball more than she should have, even though she was only 5'7". I never got to watch mom play, but people at home tell me all about how good she was and how hard she worked and how no one was ever going to beat her. And she was always going to be the hardest worker on the court. If you think Reed's hands are good on defense, then they're nothing compared to the way Stacy played. She had a huge influence on him. Passion, diving on the floor for loose balls, connecting with the fans, all of that is what we see in Reed because, you know, that's mama. Every time I go out on the court, I try and play as hard as I can and never let anyone outwork me or be tougher than me. And that was one of the things growing up that she wanted to teach me. When I watch Reed play, I'm watching his hands because, you know, he gets his hands on a lot of balls. And to me, that was one of my strongest suits was my defense and my hands, making deflections, getting steals. How Reed processes the game, it reminds me of how I used to think. I know how good my mom was and how impactful she was on the basketball court. So if I get told I play like a girl because of my mom, then I play like a girl. And proud he is to play like a girl. I love that story. Our thanks again to CBS Sports College basketball writer Matt Norlander for that very special story. And if you want to read anything more about Reed and his mom, you can go to CBSSports.com and get more into the detail. I, I want to go to a Kentucky basketball game, you guys. I have never <laughs> been, and it seems electric. Oh, yeah, especially at Rupp Arena. Yeah. That has me so emotional. I just think because as a parent, and now you guys know my son, MJ Lockwood, who plays basketball, 
Um, it, it's, it's emotional because all you have is hope. Like you pass on to your kids, your work ethic, your discipline, the hard work that it took, but then you hope to see it come through them. And for her to see it happen for her son has to be amazing. And I have that type of hope for my son also. Aww. Yeah, I bet. As a mother of three boys, I absolutely love this story, <laughs> of course, but I don't think my kids got any of my <laughs> athletic <laughs> But I will say, I mean, watching him play and that, you know, this is an incredible story, but wait till you see him out on the court in a live game, yeah. right? I mean, the anticipation, they talk so much about it, the steals, the hustle plays, forget the scoring and the rebounding, right? Uh, he's so fun to watch. And I can tell you, there's always that darling of March Madness in the NCAA tournament. He is going to be that one that everyone is going to look forward to watching. By the way, did you see that shot by Stacy, the first one? where we reveal she play it was the Caitlin yeah any shot in NBA range just like called the Caitlin Clark yeah. and, that was 30 years ago. and that was 30 yeah. years ago so I mean she was setting the precedence then yeah. so glad we could shine a spotlight on Stacy Shepard yeah. yeah again her maiden name Reed gave it to her son